Hello everybody, my name is Cameron Brown and a warm welcome to today's video. I felt like I should make this video simply because I got a lot of comments on a video I made a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago I made a video talking about Eugenia Cooney and how she wasn't going to die anytime soon. Before this video starts, smash like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you're new today. Anyway, so the video that I made on Eugenia Cooney involved me talking about how she isn't in such a bad place. I, I made this video mostly just to cause a bit of, not outrage, but I wanted to kind of show a very unpopular opinion because I felt like a lot of people were quick to say, oh, Eugenia Cooney, she's going to die. She's lost even more weight. Oh my God, she's doing this all for views. Most people were like that. And I thought to myself, why not tackle it at a different angle? I said in the video that she has a lot of issues. Okay, she clearly has an eating disorder. I, I, I mentioned firstly how I didn't think she was doing it for attention. I also mentioned how I didn't think it was a mom causing the said eating disorder that she has apparently anorexia and the third thing i said is that she's not actually lost weight honestly looking at her videos from a year ago from six months ago and comparing them to her most recent video it's quite clear to me that she hasn't actually lost any weight okay i understand that she looks really flipping thin but like she has not lost any more weight i'm sure of that okay and i argued in the video how her situation wasn't as terrible as people were making out like People were literally saying that she's going to die within the next few days. I knew that that wasn't a fact. Eugenia Cooney tweeted something, though, which I thought was phenomenal. She said that she was working on her doctor privately with her health issues. Now, she didn't mention uh, what she actually had. And you know what? Fair. A lot of people were quick to go, oh, she didn't mention that she has an eating disorder. She's clearly not come to grips with it properly. She's just doing this for good PR or whatever. That's what a lot of people were assuming and saying. I don't think that's true at all. I actually think Eugenia Cooney hasn't mentioned that she's got an actual eating disorder just because I don't think she wants to publicly share it because eating disorders are quite embarrassing. I've dealt with an eating disorder before and I didn't even trust my own girlfriend talking about it so clearly i know firsthand that having an eating disorder can have a major negative effect on your relationships with other people and also you're very reluctant to talk to other people about it i thought to myself why not reply to some comments that people have left me on that youtube video because it was very very controversial i got a lot of people who were very much agreeing with me and saying wow this is a flipping amazing video and it had a completely different unique insight to the other videos that they watched on her but then other people were saying that i literally should die because i don't know what i'm on about so without further ado let's let's go to the video i made it got 2k views it got demonetized Thank you, YouTube. I appreciate it. I literally made no money off the video. I mean, it probably would have only made like 15 quid or something, but shut up, okay? So I did get a lot of insightful comments. Uh, one of the main things that I messed up on, and I, I say messed up on, uh, is heart failure. Now, I thought, I never knew that heart failure was an actual gradual thing. Uh, I would like to criticize the medical dictionary. Apparently, it's more to do with your heart not functioning properly. I just think that's a bad term. I'm not gonna lie, medical dictionary, come at me, WebMD. Why does heart failure actually mean your heart not operating properly? Like, how's that a failure? Like, failure is more extreme, I think. Like, when something fails, it doesn't work. If your heart's pumping just not that well, it's still working. Honestly, that, that triggered me, and a lot of people were quick to go, you're wrong, your whole video is invalid because you said heart failure was something which it's not. Uh. And you know what, I messed up on that, and I apologise for that. But on a real note, that wasn't the main point of the video. My point still stands of, I don't think she has heart failure, just because her legs are red. They have a red hue to them. I don't think that that means she has heart failure. Like, I think that's really, really far-fetched, honestly. Let's start off with this lovely comment. Jews in the Holocaust were still doing manual labour all the way until they keeled over and died. Hmm, a complicated word that was unnecessarily used. Hmm, I've never seen that before. Literally, the amount of criticism I get in which people use stupidly over-the-top vocabulary just to sound smarter is ridiculous. I can tell that this person wants to appear smart. Using the example that she has energy and doesn't seem phased by her element isn't evidence. So here's the thing. I said in the video that I don't think she's starving to death just because she can move. And she has energy. She can speak. She's awake. She doesn't look obviously tired. You know, that's that's what I said. Someone replied saying, oh, so wrong. On a real note, though, it's so easy to go, oh, you're wrong. Oh, you're so wrong. So I, I wouldn't give them much credit, nor the four likes. 
Just because, you know, they said that. Because it's so easy to say that. This point is quite stupid, right? In the Holocaust, obviously I wasn't there, thank God. And no one was there. So I don't know why they're, they're commenting about it. As, as in, like, they have a direct personal interaction with these people. But pretty much, if you are to die of starvation, you're not able to just walk around, you know, do things, speak normally, and drop dead of starvation. That's not how it works. If you starve to death, you can't move. Energy in your body... Firstly, is prioritized to your vital organs, your heart, your lungs, whatever, okay? And then it goes to your muscles. You could not do physical labor if you don't have energy, hence will starve to death. If you're starving to death, right, and you literally are running out of energy to the extent that you're going to die, i.e. you can't supply your vital organs with energy, you definitely won't be able to move. Like, by the time you're starving to death, you won't have any energy at all. And by that point, you won't have muscles, because your muscles will be broken down for energy. So, this point is ridiculous. These Jews, actually, I thought this person was smart. It's, it wasn't just Jews in the Holocaust, you flipping degenerate. <laughs> You, you don't just die of starvation. It's a very long process. When you're about to die of starvation, you literally can't move. You're out of it totally. You know, it's not like you're going to be able to work. Oh, I'm going to pick up this log. And then you're just going to die all of a sudden. You can't. You just won't be able to pick up the log. And I, I just explained that pretty much to this person. And then they're quick to go, Oh, you don't know what you're on about. We're wrong. Clearly, you're, you're right. Sarcastically. Then this person replied saying, Right, I found a sick puppy. He got up and ran around and had so much energy. Within an hour, he laid down and died. The guy that made this video is such an idiot. This guy shouldn't be talking about medical things that are beyond his understanding. He should stick to the dumb schmidt he talks about. This, the thing that I don't get is what did I actually say wrong? What, what, what's wrong with me saying that, you know, you can't do physical labor before you die? Like, how's that wrong? How's that incorrect? If you are able to move logs when you're literally about to starve to death, you know what? I'm wrong, I guess. But I know for a fact that that just doesn't happen. Flipping heck. This is the most ignorant video I've seen done on her. Well, that's a lie. And Eastian's made, like, loads of videos on her. I live with congestive heart failure, you dumb dick. Literally, if you're living with congestive heart failure, why are you wasting my time watching me? Like, you're gonna die. Just watch something else, okay? That's honestly what I'm recommending. Not even a joke or anything. Watch someone else. Don't die with me in your memory. Nah, that's not worth it. Yes, her heart is effing failing, and no, it's not always sudden. Right, this is the thing. I was wrong about heart failure being sudden. Her heart is not failing, okay? She can move. She can speak. If you have heart failure, like, her heart is not actively failing. It's just pumping inefficiently or whatever, which I don't think is failing. I'm sorry. It can be a slow process. You can live with heart failure till the muscle ceases completely, but your heart is not pumping properly. Are you telling my doctor stupid for saying I live with heart failure? It's a effing diagnosis, and I am scared uh, to live with it every day. It's very real, you effing knobhead. Okay, I see why this person's angry. I wasn't trying to demean the whole meaning of heart failure and people who suffer with it. People who suffer with heart failure, I have respect for you. Obviously, it's something very scary to go through. Very scary indeed. But at the end of the day, like, I was wrong. And I admit to being wrong in the comments. But I don't think Eugenia Cooney has heart failure. I think that's completely far-fetched. She's literally been super thin for so many years at this point. Something really bad would have happened in terms of her health. And it seems like nothing really has happened. Like, she can still make videos. She, like, fainted apparently once. But that's that could be due to anything. That could be due to heat stroke. You know? So, at the end of the day, I just don't think it's right to say that, that this person's literally diagnosing Eugenia Cooney with heart failure. Like, they're sucking up to the doctor in the comment, right? But then they're not acting like what the doctor wants you to act like because they're literally proclaiming that she has heart failure, diagnosing someone without evidence, which is even more stupid than me maybe not understanding heart failure, whatever. Look up, Karen Carpenter, you moron child. You know nothing about eating disorders. Please don't breed. This is a thing. I'm not, I don't want to pull out the gender card or anything. I'm, I am going to, though. Honestly, I think the reason why I'm getting a lot of hate for this video is just because I'm a guy. I feel like a lot of people are quick to go, oh, he's a guy. He doesn't understand eating disorders. I literally had one. I, I literally had one and got through it. I know a lot of people who make videos on Eugenia Cooney, all of them seem to have eating disorders. But on a real note, I suffered really bad with an eating disorder. It was something that I kept to myself. And it wasn't going to kill me, but it caused me to throw up loads and have an anxiety when it came to food. Yeah. 
So pretty much this person saying that I shouldn't breed because I know nothing about eating disorders. You know, they were so smart. Maybe they would realize that knowledge is not passed through genetics. You idiot. On top of that, how is looking up some random person who died? She's definitely thinner and has lost weight. You're blind. The popular opinion is obviously going to be overdramatized. That's not even a word. But a lot of people, like, that's the popular opinion. You know, she's lost even more weight. She's about to starve to death and die. And most people are going to follow that popular opinion, follow suit like sheep. Just because they want to be popular. Just because they want something to talk about. They want to be liked. They don't want people to criticize them. I know for a fact, looking at her videos and comparing them to the past, you know, maybe, yeah, in the past five years, she's definitely lost weight. But in the past three or four months, she looks exactly the same. It's just the, um, what do you call it? The angle of the video, what she was wearing. Naturally, the clothes that she was wearing made her look thinner. Like, I'm not even joking. She, I'm not saying that she's not thin at all because, oh my God, she's so thin. But on a real note, she's not lost even more weight. That just seems stupid to me. She clearly hasn't. You can think differently to me, but don't call me dumb or blind or whatever for just thinking what I think. I honestly don't think she's lost any more weight. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, smash like, subscribe to the channel if you're new today, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye!